Frank Baumholtz graduated from Midvale High School, earned 12 varsity letters in basketball, baseball, and track. At Ohio U, he led the Bobcats to the NIT final where he was named MVP, played two seasons of professional basketball, played 10 season, seasons in Major League Baseball, was inducted into the Ohio University Athletics Hall of Fame in 1965, and inducted into the Cleveland Sports Hall of Fame in 1989. Accepting the honor on behalf of the late Frank Baumholtz is his nephew, Tom Spencer. Please welcome into the Tuscarawas County Sports Hall of Fame, Frank Baumholtz. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, when I was first asked to speak here tonight, I was going to read a lot of the accolades that Uncle Frank accomplished, but the committee did such a fantastic job. I don't have to do that. You can look at it right there. So what I'll do instead is just point out a couple of things that you can't see in the program. Uh, number one, in uh, 1947, after six years in the uh, Navy, so six years of not playing competitive baseball, Uncle Frank came back and was fifth in Major League Baseball Rookie of the Year voting the year Jackie Robinson won Rookie of the Year. So he had a fantastic rookie season. It just so happens the next couple years he tailed off a little bit. So the Cincinnati Reds were wondering why, why? Well, it was because, according to the Reds, he was playing professional basketball, not even finishing the season, and coming and playing for the Reds because he was under contract. So they thought his fatigue during basketball season was wearing him down for baseball. So the Reds went to him, gave him a $10,000 bonus to completely give up basketball. That's how he became full-time into baseball. So fast forwarding, um, he eventually got traded to the Chicago Cubs. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about here is, I'm gonna ask you in a trivia form. Who is the only batter that Stan Musial, who was not a pitcher, ever faced in his career? And the answer was Tuscarawas County's own Frank Baumholtz. So what had happened, in 1952, Stan Musial, Hall of Famer, coming off of two consecutive batting titles with about six games left in the season, was hitting 333. Frank Baumholtz was hitting 332. And it just so happens the Cardinals are going to play the Cubs in the final series of the year. So it was billed, can Baumholtz dethrone the, the batting title away from Stan Musial? So it just so happens anyway, the next few games, Uncle Frank went two for 14. Stan Musial, as he normally does, goes eight for 17. So batting title's over going into the last game, but it was billed the battle for the batting title. So what happened the last game of the season, Eddie Stanky was the manager for the Cardinals and Harvey Haddix was pitching. Uncle Frank batted second in the Cubs lineup. Haddix walked the first guy, and then Stanky came out of the dugout, came out and brought Stan Musial in from the outfield to pitch to Frankie Baumholtz because he wanted to fill that billing of Baumholtz versus Musial. So everybody's laughing. Uncle Frank's in there. This is the story's told me. He's a left-handed batter. He's in the batter's box. Musial steps in there just all cracking up. So Uncle Frank turns around from the right side. First pitch, ground ball to third base. Third baseman boots it. Both runners are safe. And then they go back to their normal positions. So anyway, just a little background. He was such a great athlete. I mean, he was one of 13 people, 13 people to play professional basketball and professional baseball, which is quite an accomplishment. But anyway, I want to thank, on behalf of our family, I want to thank the committee and everybody else for this honor tonight, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you.